Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your text properties in iMovie 11. This can also work for other iMovies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change things like boldness, size, and color. Those are just examples. So first off, you want to open up iMovie, and you want to come over here to this T and click Titles. Then you can choose from this wide range of titles. Say I want to choose Upper. I can click on it and drag it over onto the timeline. Then I can choose from the background. Say I want industrial. Then the background is set and it highlights the text. So say I think this is a bit too basic and I want to change some things. I can click Command T and this pops up. These are the basic things that they suggest. There's only around nine. So now you're thinking there must be more text than this. And that's true, there is more. There is style, outline and alignment. But we want to do this to other texts, not just these nine, because we don't like them. There is a wide range to choose from if you come over here and click System Font Panel. So this comes up. Now it basically turns on to a word changing of text properties, so it's quite easy to do. So there's a lot of different text styles we can choose from here. And you can also download them from things like defont.com. So say I want to make this 28 days later. Typeface is regular, and I can also change the size to say 64. I can then, only for some text, you can change the style. So say if I click Arial Black, I might not still be able to change the style, but for other text, if you highlight this, so we highlight it, so now we can change the style. So if we want Gil Sands or Futura, we click on it, and then you can say up here it changes, and we can now change the style to bold, can take off bold, we can underline it, and we can also do things like that. So say I don't want any of them, I can unclick them, and then I'm just back to normal future. So then I can change the size if I want to, to a 72, and that's basically it. That's how you change your text properties in iMovie 11. But the one thing that most people want to know how to do is change the colour because usually the basic colour of white is a bit repetitive so we can go over here and we can click text colour so the wheel comes up we can change it to wheel scale slider panels or spectrums or crowns but I would just probably use spectrum or palette palette is basically the easiest one but wheel can make you get into different colours like the more exterior ones. Say you want a lighter shade of pink or you want a darker shade of pink, you can choose it in the wheel. So you can see here it's changing the colour up here for everything I click. So say I want a magenta, I click my magenta and I click X and I still want to keep Futura and I want to keep it typeface as medium and I'll keep the size of 72 and maybe you want to add in some bold, became a bit bold, and I want to make the alignment more to the middle. So that's basically it. That's how you change your text properties in iMovie 11. It's very easy to do, but it can be quite effective. So hopefully you enjoyed that little video. Please leave suggestions of the tools you want to see. I have a PC and a Mac, so I can do tutorials on both. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.